Hi there, welcome to PageLayer. I am your PageLayer buddy, and in this video, I am going to show you how to use Mega Menu and Column Menu options. We start with dragging and dropping a primary menu widget from the left widget panel. After dropping the primary menu you will see different properties of the widget on the left hand panel. While on the right hand side you will find a primary menu. On the left side primary menu tab. Click on the menu item you want to make a mega menu. Over here you will find the menu type option. From the option select the mega menu option. Here you can see a down arrow which means the mega menu is created. In the menu container, we can drag and drop any widget. Here we will drag and drop a title widget inside the container. Click on the title widget and design it from the left panel. After that, you can insert any widget as you want. Here we will insert a progress bar widget. Then design it to work with our website UI. Inside the container, you can duplicate any widget you wish. Just like this by clicking on this clone option. And then design as per our needs. Furthermore to design more impressive designs you can use widgets like columns just like we are using here. And also we will insert an image widget inside this column and edit it as well. You can edit the inner row from here. And also create a new inner row by clicking here. We can also duplicate the inner row by clicking on the clone option. The next option is Mega Width. From here we can select the menu container option. It will make the mega menu container the size of the menu. Row container will be the size of the parent row. The custom size gives the width in pixels.
icon option in which you have to select the icon you want to show with the menu item. The next section is menu item setting inside which disable link option disables the link of the menu item. Hide text option hides the menu item title. Icon position sets the position to the right or left of the menu title. The next section will be the highlight label. In the highlight, the label enters the text to display. Select the background and text color for the label. Now the mega menu is created and ready. Next, we will create the column menu. You need to have subpages for the menu item to make it a column menu. To create the column menu change the menu type to column menu. To edit the column menu use the column count and column gap option. Column count indicates the number of columns in the column menu container. The column gap creates space between the columns in the container. To design the container even more you can use the submenu style options. Like item alignment, background in normal, hover, and active. Topography Horizontal padding, and vertical padding. To save your work click the update option. To preview your work click on this eye icon and you are good to go. If you are stuck with issues then visit the documentation link in the description or open support ticket on deskus.com. For more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to pagelayer.com slash docs.